Pentagon on Thursday said its likely progression was indeed killed. No evidence has been presented that suggests President Putin, the Kremlin, or Russian security services were involved in the crash. U.S. officials are evaluating a number of possibilities, including an explosion on board. Whatever happened, they believe the plane was deliberately brought down with the goal of killing Progroshin. CNN's Katie Porglaze has our report. Falling from the sky, the plane reported to be carrying the Wagner leader Evgeny Prigozhin. Coming two months after he launched a mutiny against Russia's leader Vladimir Putin, he was widely seen as a man on borrowed time. As footage started to emerge on social media of the crash, CNN's open source team began piecing together what happened. The aircraft associated with Prigozhin is RA-02795. It makes frequent trips between Moscow and St. Petersburg. CNN geolocated the main crash site to here, and you can see the same tail number visible amid the debris. The plane had left Moscow at 5.55 p.m. local time. Twelve minutes later, the location is no longer detectable. But public flight tracking site Flight Radar 24 still receives information on its altitude. The last minute of the recorded flight is key. You can see here the flight's altitude is erratic. It's going higher and lower before it eventually plummets. Now, aviation experts told us this is highly unusual, and it suggests those on board were trying to stabilise the plane after something happened to it. In other words, the disruption was not big enough to obliterate everyone and everything instantly. Expert opinion is split on what exactly happened, likely an explosion, perhaps a bomb on board or a missile hitting it, or even something else. Whatever it was, was clearly powerful as the plane is visibly falling without a wing. The tail ends up over here, 2.6 kilometres away from where the rest of the debris lands. Videos show fires at the crash site. Some are graphic. Human remains strewn amid the debris. Since then, Russian authorities have taken the bodies away for examination and begun an investigation. But many have already made up their minds as to who they think was behind the Wagner aircraft's violent end. Katie Poglase, CNN, London.